From Yabblethorpe to Ashby, Brumby, Crosby and Frodingham, this is Scunthorpe's News. Police in standoff with the Mormon Church after priests steal 700 wives. Westcliff and Ridding schools to merge to form super gang to bully Frederick Goff. Scunthorpe nightclub, Henry Africa's stolen. Customer seen in a Turkish barber's. Seven Sisters Chicken Factory blockaded by animal rights activists. Hands off our cocks. Good evening, Scunthorpe and the ladies. I'm Brumby Hall. Tonight's top story. Police are into their third day of the standoff at Dryden Road's Mormon Church, where the priest has kidnapped 700 other people's wives. We have this report from one of the wife's husbands. His identity and his voice have been disguised. Warning, some viewers may find this a bit weird. Um, yeah, uh, it was uh, it was Thursday tea time. Uh, I got in from work um, and my tea one on table. You know, because that that's her job, isn't it? So, me tea want on table, so I knew some of want right. Um, so I'd, I'd watched a bit of telly and, and had a drink and that. Um, I waited till Friday, yeah, yeah, Friday, and an hour last, still nowhere to be seen. So I phoned the police, because, well, that's what you're told to do, isn't it? Uh, and they they told me that probably she was one of the seven hundred wives that uh, that this priest has kidnapped, which you know it's it's just not right, is it? There's there's hundreds of us now just going hungry. We don't know what to wear. It's it's just not right. You need sort you need to sort this out. I'm starving. Shocking, shocking, truly shocking. Our thoughts go out to all of the husbands. Hope you are reunited soon. Our other top story today, a bizarre sighting in a Turkish barber's of an actual customer. We go over to the eyewitness at the incident, Harry Bolsack. Harry, tell us what you saw. Hello? Am I am I on? Am I on? Am I? Yeah, I'm on now. Yeah, I I um I, I was on on the high street uh, and I'm walking past. Uh, there's two. There's loads. There's loads of Turkish barbers on the high street and and I've never ever never ever 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 seen one person in a Turkish barbers um, and out of my peripheral vision uh, I saw a mister, I saw a mister sat in a chair and I thought that's strange that is, I thought that's strange uh, anyway uh, he, he, he sat, sat down and, and he, and he uh, he uh, he sat down and he uh, he was in a big mister's chair and the Turkish man was behind him like that. He was behind him, and I don't even think I don't even think he had any scissors. No, uh, but but I I read some somewhere or somebody told me or I might have dreamt it. I thought that the tur Turkish barbers were all a front for clandestine operations. So, who knows? It's a mystery. F thank, thank you. Bye. <clears throat> I 
Thank you, Harry Ballsack. Scunthorpe's finest, I'm sure you'll agree. Today, Westcliff and Ridding schools merged together to form a super gang in order to fight the up and coming problem of the feral children from Frederick Gough School. Today, we had an interview with the headmaster of Thomas Hunter School, Mr. Harry Hardcase. Harry, what's the deal? Uh, all right. Well, it's got to be done, hasn't it? I tell you, all oh, the amount of kids on Timberlands being born last couple of years, they've, they've gone feral. It's like a bloody epidemic, honestly. And because, like, they, they come from families where mum and dad are still together and married, it's just weird. Weird. But... Because they're like, pretend, wannabe, ooh, middle class. Ah. The mothers are not taking care of them. No, no. The mothers are at home, necking bloody Lambrini and gin and whatever they can get out of. And dads, oh, don't even get me going. All the dads are absent half the bloody time because they're at somewhere called golf. Unbelievable. Yeah. So there's so many of them, and, and they're just, they're everywhere. So we're proud to announce that uh, Westcliff and Riddings, we've joined together, we've got a super gang, and we're having them, we're having them. This Saturday, 10 a.m., Burringham Park Field. All right, yeah, <laughs> Burringham Park, but not at the top end, because it's a bit hilly and bumpy. Down the bottom end. And I just, just, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I just want to say a big thank you to Popping Shop for sponsoring us. All right. So, catch you later. Have it. Got to go now, it's fag break. Ta-da. Headmaster Harry Hardcase there. Thank you. Now, sport with our resident pundit, Willie Stroker. Willie, what's going down? Oh, man. It's unbelievable. What a week. Right, I went to Ashbyville football grounds and they've gone. It's a bloody housing estate. I can't believe it. It's an housing estate in a retail park. There was 14 pitches there last week. So, catch up. I've got a lot of sports to do. So I went down to Scunthorpe's Municipal Golf Course, Kingsway, to see if I could find the next Tony Jacklin. And I got there, and it's gone. Unbelievable. I swear, there's no there. There used to be 11 holes, nine originally. It's gone, it's just like... Random folks walking dogs. And depend what time of night you go, doggers later on. It's just weird. So I thought, right, I'll go catch up on Scunny United. Pop and see the iron at the old showground. What? It's gone. <laughs> it, I can't, honestly, you can't make it up. It's all gone. It's a supermarket. Sainsbury's. As far as sport goes this week, it's gone. <laughs> I am confused. Back to you, Brumby Hall. Strange man. Strange, strange man. And in other news, we go over to the protest that's ongoing at the Seven Sisters Chicken Factory, where we have an interview with the Leave our cocks alone, animal rights leader, Tarquin Horatio Augustus Bartholomew Bertram Caspian Fabian Sheffield. Leave our cocks alone. Leave our cocks alone. Leave our cocks alone. Everybody, we're all God's children. We all deserve the chance to say... Ride a penny farthing, should we wish. Play croquet. 
go down to Henley Regatta and drink pims. <laughs> yes, we all deserve that. We all do that, don't we? Leave our cocks alone. Um, no, we actually don't all do that. Unbelievable. Tarquin, Horatio, Augustus, Bartholomew, Bertram, Caspian, Fabian, Sheffield. No, we don't all do that. May I suggest, only a suggestion, on behalf of everybody normal, may you stop sponging off your parents, get a job, and get a life. Okay? You self-righteous, virtue-signalling, wishy-washy snowflake. Just saying. And relax. Travel news now with our roving reporter, Dick Smelly. Dick, what's happening on the roads? It is absolute carnage here. I kid you not. You've got people coming up to Henderson Avenue Circle and... and they're just going in any direction they want. It's absolute chaos. You can't do that. You can't. Britannia Corner, close to traffic. Diversion in place via ghoul. And lastly, well, unless you want to buy new tyres, don't even bother going out because it is pothole city out there. Back to you, Brumby. Thank you, Dick Smelly. Sex bomb, sex bomb, you're a sex bomb. Blah, 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 blah. Back on air. <laughs> Scunthorpe residents were shocked to find this morning that number one nightclub, Henry Africa's, had been stolen overnight. A report now from Humberside Police Chief Superintendent, Huang Kerr. Juan, how, why, and where? No idea. No idea. Look, nothing. Absolutely diddly squat. All we know is, one minute, Henry Africa's is chock-a-block, Roxy's giving it rock all DJing, Everybody's having a great time. That exotic dancer in his leopard skin pants. He's revving him up into a frenzy. Next thing you know, he's gone. He has gone. Vanished. Stolen. We don't know. Look, we've no idea. We've had a phone call today saying that maybe somebody from Kidby's stolen it. We don't know. We don't know. It's ongoing. So please, please, call us. This is a serious crime. I mean, it's not as bad as that bloke I caught speeding. 32 in a 30. That's just dangerous. Please, let's get Henry Africa's back. That was Chief Superintendent Huang Kerr. And the appeal goes to say that if anybody out there knows of anything to do with the whereabouts of Henry Africa's, please, please, please call 999. Although in recent history, good luck with anybody answering it. They're stretched. And finally, over to the weather with our resident weather, weather, our resident weather person, Jenny Taylor, he, she. Jenny, anything to look forward to? Shite, it's pissing down. Why? Thank you, Jenny Taylor Hishi. And that was Scunthorpe's News. Remember, 
be careful out there and let's keep Scunny sunny. Good night. Yeah, I've been alright. From Yabblethorpe to Ashby, Brumby, Crosby and Frodingham, this is Scunthorpe's News.